Hello everyone. In before video, we have discussed about the speed of a wave in air or vacuum. Now we are going to discuss about the speed of transverse wave in a stretched string. Stretched string means uh, we have already found out that we have derived the equation V is equal to nu lambda, the general equation for the progressive wave earlier. Now the speed of a transverse wave, if in case of the medium is not an air or vacuum, whatever it is, if it is another medium, means like a stretched string or the material medium, if the medium is material, then what is the speed of a waves? We are going to derive here equation. When the speed is expected to that, that directly proportional to the restoring force, whenever the if we take in the medium and then vibrate it, then it will start the waves will be formed in the formless or formed in the medium. Then whenever the restoring force will happen and also the inertial property is also there in the material medium. So that's why we are taking that the speed expected to be that then directly proportional to the restoring force directly proportional to the restoring force means uh, that body material medium how it is having that restoring how the force is applied then how much that can be restored in force that is directly proportional to the restoring force and uh, inversely proportional to the inertial property that body is having some inertia that inertial property is the speed also depends on its uh, inertial property and as well as the restoring force that body can the material medium can apply so that's why we are taking that we can expect the velocity or speed of a wave in a stretched string it depends on the material medium its a inertial property and as well as the restoring force which can body can be applied so from that by using the dimensional analysis by using the dimensional analysis we can measure the equation, we can derive the equation for a structure string. If we take the structure string, structure string, it is having the, the restoring force provided by that. Whenever we use the force on your body, it will get started oscillating or it, the waves are formed in the string, then that will be the tension will be happened in the string. The tension will give the give, give the value of restoring force. The tension is the restoring force, and as well as the inertial property means uh, the mass, linear mass density. The mass density will be the mass will be the linear mass density will be the inertial property of the stretched string. The inertial property of the stretched string of the for unit length means mass per unit length is called as the PR mass density. Mu is equal to m by l. We know that mu is equal to m by l. That is the mass density of the string. By using the dimensional analysis of mu means the mass density and as well as the tension. That was tension is applied in the spring. That is the, the formula can be derived by using the dimensional analysis of the tension and its mass density. The dimension formula of mu means mass density is equal to m l power minus 1 l inverse m l inverse and uh, the dimension formula of tension is a uh, m l if is there nothing then m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 by using this dimension analysis to know to know the the formula for the speed we should combine this formula mu and t so the dimension of the speed is a uh, l t inverse so that is because of meter per second, meter per second means meter is the length and per second means uh, t power minus 1, so that is the dimensional formula of, that is the dimensional formula of speed. So on analysis, the t by q has the relevant dimensions of the speed, the t by q has the relevant dimensions of the speed, so that is why t by mu is equal to m l t power minus 2 by m l power minus 1. Then here the LM will cancel then whenever the, the denominator L power minus to take it to the numerator then it will become L power 1, L power 1 that will become L power 2 and T power minus 2. That is T by mu is equal to L into T power minus 1. We can write that in both square. So whenever we are taking to this side, then L power T minus 1 is equal to root T by mu. That's why whenever the material medium is there, then the velocity of the, the L into T power minus 1 dimensional formula is for speed that is v so that way we are writing that v is equal to root of t by mu root of t by mu if we take the sound waves the sound waves 
or the speed of transverse waves in a stretched string or any material medium which is having the tension, the tension can be developed in the medium and also it is having the inertial property. If the material medium present, the wave is travelled through the material medium, then we should apply this formula to find out the values. Then we should use this formula V is equal to root T by mu. Here V is equal to root T by mu. Here stretch string already we have derived that is V is equal to root of T by mu. As well as by using the dimension analysis, we can find the value for the speed of the transverse waves in solid also. That is V is equal to neta by rho. Neta by rho. Correct here, neta is equal to rigidity modulus and at the same time of rho is equal to density of the material of the solid. So V is equal to neta by rho is the value, is the formula for the speed of a transverse wave in a solid. We are going to say a problem on V is equal to root d by mu. A steel wire 0.72 meter long has a mass of 5.0 into 10 to the power of 3 kg. If the wire is under a tension of 16 newton, what is the speed of transverse waves in the wire? Means here the I have given that the steel wire has a length of 0.72 meters and its a mass is a 5.0 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg and a 16 newtons of tension is applied on the steel wire. 16 newtons of a 16 newtons of a tension is applied on the steel wire. So that is 0.72 meter long has the mass of 5.0 into 10 to the power of 3, 3 kg is the mass. So the length of the steel wire is L is equal to 0.72 meter as well as mass of the steel wire is M is equal to 5.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 mass is M. Then tension T can be integrated with T is equal to 16 newtons of force is applied, tension is applied on the wire. Then we know that the mass density V is equal to actual formula is V is equal to root of T by mu. Mu is the linear mass density. So that's why from the mass density, mass per unit length of the wire is m is equal to mu is equal to m by l. You know the upper value is 5.0 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by length of the wire is 0 0.72 meter. Here is the length of unit is there. So that's why both are in the same unit. So that's why we are taking the value. You can guess how the values is given in a CGS system. We should convert that CGS values into the MKS system, means SI system. Then, by the calculation, we can get the value 6.9 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kilogram per meter. Then, we have a formula for speed in a stretched string, that is, V is equal to root of T by mu. T is equal to 60 unit and mu is equal to 6.9 into 10 to the power of 3. By the calculation, we get the 93 meter per second. This is the alpha. The this much of velocity will be captured, 93 meter per second value will be the speed of the transfer space in the wire. Then, as well as the longitudinal, the speed of a longitudinal wave in a medium, we take as that by using the mod bulk modulus. If in case of bulk modulus, which changes the pressure. That means to say, longitudinal waves, whenever the longitudinal waves are propagating in a medium, the pressure will be changes, so that's why the density is also changes. So that's why we are adding that speed of a longitudinal wave V is equal to, which is equal to bulk modulus, that is a delta P by delta P by minus delta P by delta V by V, which is, which is a compressive, which is a compressive bulk modulus, which is a compressive, so that's why negative we must get that the compression force. From the velocity V is equal by using the same as a equal to pressure. Pressure is nothing but wave dimension formula we can get. From that equation V is equal to C, C is the constant. Then uh, here the root of D by rho is the formula for speed of a bulk modulus of longitudinal wave from A. Why? Then if in case of longitudinal wave in solid, in solid, in solid, V is equal to root of by by rho. Root of by by rho. Why? You notice that Hank's modulus of value. Hank's modulus. Then rho is the, we know that rho is the value for density of the material. What of the density of the material? Why is the Hank's modulus? Why is the Hank's modulus? And rho is the 
density. What is the density of the material?